similar fraction because the denominators are the same and it would be very easy for you to get their sum because you only have to add their respective numerators so let's add 1 plus 3 equals 4 over 2 copy the denominator because they are the same and with this 4 halves or 2 because 4 is divisible by 2. Let's have another example. 5 sevenths plus 11 sevenths we have here the proper fraction in improper fraction now still we have to do the same copy the denominator and of course add the respective numerators so 5 plus 11 so equals 16 over 7. We ended up with improper fraction. So, of course, you have to convert it into mixed number. So, the question is, how many sevens, sevens are there in 16? So, let's do skip counting. 7, 14, 21. We don't need to proceed to, to 21 because we are only up to 16. So, the best number that is closest to 16 is 14. So, meaning in 14, there are two sevens. So, let's write two. Okay? How many are left after 14? Of course, it's two to make it 16. So, two is the remainder or two is left over seven. So, the answer is two and two sevenths we read this as two sevenths because there are two one seventh so you have to add s in reading such fraction or mixed fraction this is now your final answer let's have the mixed fraction plus an improper fraction. Before we get their sum, we should convert this mixed number into improper fraction like this. So first, let's multiply 5 times 3. Okay, 5 times 3 is 15. And 15 plus 1 is... 16 16 fifths plus 11 fifths just like the usual thing you still have to add their respective numerators so let's say 16 plus 11 over 5 okay copy the denominator and then get their sum 16 plus 11 is 27 fifths, okay? Since this is an improper fraction, you have to convert this into mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is composed of a whole number and a fraction. Now, let's get the multiples of 5, okay? 
Let's have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, we don't need to proceed to 30 because we are only until 27. The closest for 27 is 25. Therefore, let's count how many times does this 5 before it reaches 25. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Of course, it's 5. So what is left? Or what is the remainder after 25? It's 2, right? 2 over 5. Copy the denominator. So the answer is 5 and 2 fifths. Let's have adding the similar fractions. Let's say 2 thirds plus 4 fifths. Now, the similar fraction is different from similar fractions, especially when it comes to adding them. Similar fraction is just adding their numerators and then copy the denominator. But with this dissimilar fraction, it's very different from similar because you have to apply this cross multiplication and then multiply the respective denominators. Let's do it. 2 times 5 equals 10 plus 4 times 3 equals 12. Over, multiply their denominators. 3 times 5 equals 15. Then add 10 plus 12. It's 22. And copy this denominator, which is 15. Now, since the answer is improper fraction, you have to convert it into mixed fraction. Of course, it is expected that it would include whole number and a fraction. So, question. How many 15s are there in 22? Let's do skip counting. 15? 15 plus 15 is 30? I think we don't need to proceed to 30 because we're until 22. Meaning, there is only one 15 in 22. So how many are left or what is the remainder? The remainder is 7. Okay? You only have to minus 22 and 15. So the answer is 7, 1 and 7 15. Let's try this mixed fraction. Plus improper fraction. Before you proceed, convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction like this. So let's get the product of 3 and 2. It's 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 thirds. Plus 5 fourths. <laughs> The process is still cross multiplication and get the product of the denominators. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 5 times 3 is 15 over get the product of the denominators. 3 times 4. The answer is 12. The sum for 28 and 15 is 43 over 12. Since this is an improper fraction, we have to convert this into mixed number or mixed fraction, which includes a whole number and a proper fraction. Now, how many 12s are there in 43? Let's do skip counting or multiples of 12. So 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 plus 12 is 36. 36 plus 12 is 48. 
I think we don't need to proceed to 48 because we are only until 43. And the closest multiple to 43 is 36. Therefore, in 36, there are three twelves, right? Three twelves. And what is left or what is the remainder when you reach 43? It's seven twelves. So the answer is three and seven twelves. How about if the given has whole number to be added to a fraction? Let's say 5 plus 3 fourths. Okay. This is considered as the similar fraction because... You need to put imaginary one here so that you will not be confused when adding fractions. First, get the product of 5 and 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 3 times 1 is 3. Over. 1 times 4 is 4. Now, add 20 and 3. The answer is 23. Fourths. 23 over 4 or 23 fourths. Or, okay, convert this into mixed fraction. So, let's get the multiples of 4. How many times did it reach a multiple that is very close to very close to 23. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Okay, of course, we will not proceed to 24. 20 is the closest to 23. So, there are 5, 4 in 20. So, meaning I have to put 5 here. And then what is the remainder before you reach 23? The remainder is 3. And then copy the denominator. So the answer is 5 and 3 fourths. Let's say 5 fourths minus 1 fourth. Actually, adding and subtracting fractions are having the same process. The only difference is their respective rule. Like in this example, we have to subtract 5 minus 1 over. Copy the denominator. Okay? We have 4 over 4. Since 4 is divisible by itself, the answer is 1 a whole number let's have another example with this mixed fraction minus an improper fraction let's convert this into improper fraction like this so, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So, 7 thirds. Copy the next fraction. Since this is similar, you have to subtract the numerators. 7 minus 5 over 3. So, the answer is 2 thirds. And two-thirds is already reduced in lowest term. Therefore, this is now your final answer. Let us now subtract this similar fraction. Let's say eight-fifths minus one-fifth. 
fourth. First, you have to multiply 8 times 4 is 32. Minus 1 times 5 is 5. Over 5 times 4 is 20. Get their difference. 32 minus 5 is 27 over 20. This is an improper fraction. Therefore, you have to convert this into mixed number. And the answer will be 1 and 7 twentieths. about if the given are mixed fraction and whole number. This is now the process. Convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction first. Okay, let's start. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11 halves minus 2. So what are you going to do? Put imaginary 1. Now, you may start applying the cross multiplication. 11 times 1 is 11. 2 times 2 is 4. Over 2 times 1 is 2. Okay? Simplify. 11 minus 4 is 7 over 2 or 7 halves. When you read that, 7 halves. Or, how would you convert that into mixed fraction? The answer is, how many 2's are there in 7, 2, 4, 6? So there are 3 2's in 7. So what is the remainder? What is left? It's 1. And copy the denominator. So the answer is 3 and 1 half.